Hello. So, welcome to my 5 a.m. meditations. Today um, is day 13 of Deepak Chopra's 21 days of meditation and it's day 42 of uh, my 100 days of meditation. Yes. Um, this is going to be quick. I'm going to begin soon. I'm not waiting till 5.05. And that's okay, because people know to come to the YouTube channel to view this meditation. And I definitely will have the link to it, so you could do it whenever you want. So, just wanted to um, have you just settle in and relax, close your eyes. And um, let's begin, we'll begin day 13. All right, let me turn the camera over. Welcome to day 30. In the words of Dr. David Simon, my beloved friend and co-founder of the Chopra Center for Wellbeing, abundance is a state of mind in which you believe you are intrinsically creative. You recognize that the universe is abundant and that you are an expression of the universe. If you accept the idea of an unlimited, abundant universe, you relinquish the desire to manage circumstances and force solutions in order to manifest your desires. This is the essence of the law of detachment. The law of detachment teaches us to focus our attention on what we desire, take the necessary steps to achieve our dreams, and then find security in the wisdom of uncertainty by letting go of any attachment to outcome, an essential step in achieving our goals. Think for a moment about a time you tried to recall a name with no success. Finally, after struggling to remember, you let go of your efforts. Then, a little while later, the name flashed across the screen of your consciousness. In this same way, casting your intention into the womb of creation without attachment to the results ultimately fulfills your desire. In the physical world, there are perceived boundaries such as time, space, and opportunity. In the spiritual realm, no such boundaries exist. Opportunities are limitless and there is no space or time. What exists is pure possibility pure potentiality, which you activate through your thoughts, beliefs, and intentions. Abundance springs from this unlimited source. Therefore, release any thoughts of limitation. Go directly to the source that lies within and proclaim your intention. Today, put the law of detachment into practice. Detach from all expectation of outcome by allowing everyone and everything the freedom to be exactly as they are.
accept uncertainty and witness the solutions and opportunities that spontaneously spring from it. Then, step into the field of all possibilities, remaining open to its infinity of choices. As we prepare to meditate, take a moment to consider today's centering thought. As I let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. As I let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. Now let's begin. Please find a comfortable position, placing your hands lightly in your lap and closing your eyes. In this moment, go within to that place of inner quiet where we experience our connection to the higher self. Let go of all thoughts and begin to observe the inflow and outflow of your breath. With each inhalation and exhalation, allow yourself to become more relaxed, more comfortable, more at peace. Now, gently introduce the Sanskrit mantra for the law of detachment, repeating it mentally and allowing it to flow with effortless ease. Om Anandam Namah. Om Anandam Namah. My actions are blissfully free from attachment to outcome. Om Anandam Namah. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, sensations in your body, or noises in the environment, simply return your attention to mentally repeating the mantra. Om Anandham Namah. Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and at the end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell to indicate it's time to release the mantra. Om Anandham Namah. Om Anandham Namah.
it's time to release the mantra. Please bring your awareness back into your body. Take a moment to rest, inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, remember to release all attachment to the outcome of your efforts by reminding yourself of our centering thought for today. As I let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. As I let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. As I let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. Namaste. Awesome. <sighs> As I lay, let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that one right there is a little. I understand it. I do. I understand what he wants. Yeah. I guess, I guess so. I guess um, there's this kind of practice of wanting something, desiring something, and then just allowing yourself to just let it go because you expect it's going to come, right? So, okay, I don't need to. I think the act of continually, like, continually to think about it is an act of Not allowing it to come, or an act of disbelief, or an act of, um, you know, like it feels like. Um, what do they say? Um, um, if you want something, let it go, right? If it comes back, it's meant to be there for you, right? Or I don't know what I'm saying. I do. I'm trying to get the words out of my mouth. It's what he said, actually, in the beginning. You know, when you start thinking about a, um, a name or something, and then once you let it go, it comes back. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, I got my thought back, right? So it, it's that, and it's almost like when you're holding something so tight, right? Like it's in your mind and your heart, and you're continuously thinking about it. It's all the same concept of the things that you desire and want in your life, you're holding tighter you keep thinking about it like as if it's not gonna come up as it's not there you know or if it's like okay where is it where is it you know this act of desperation right and once you realize once you let it go it's like i know it's gonna come like i'm just gonna continue on you know with my life and and yeah and then um all of a sudden things show up so that's what i get from this meditation I was trying to figure out, oh, I, I like to, you know, have control of my life, right? I want to know, you know, things to do and expect, right? Goal setting and all that. But it is true. Once you set a goal and you put your intentions out there, continue working on the goal if it's a project, right? 
but if it's like a request from the universe, right? That you could only do what you can do, but you could just, you know, be happy and continue, you know, living your life. Then, you know, you put that request out there and it will come. I believe in that 100, 1,000, 1 millionth percent. Like I truly, truly, truly know that that is true because I've experienced it. Yes. All right. Um, let me send you out in a prayer. I just want to say thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God, for um, this time. I'm trying to get the light in my computer working. Um, but anyway, let's begin. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you. Thank you for going ahead of us. Thank you for allowing us to let go and trust that you are going to bring everything that is that we want and better, right? This and something better because um, you know best. Your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. May you be blessed on your way to and fro, on the roads, wherever you're heading to today. God bless you. I love you. Mwah. Bye-bye. <laughs>